Hey everyone, I want to do our little review on these interconnecting pegboards. I went to Home Depot and I was looking for some pegboard I was going to put from my uh, workbench to put on the wall here. And I went and bought the pegboard. I bought some 1x2 trim, I was, or 1x2 boards I should say. And I was going to make like a frame around here and then put the pegboard on top and screw it all in. And then when I went to the aisle where they sell the hooks for the pegboards, I bought this kid here, it's an assortment. Uh, I noticed these here. They're uh, interconnecting pegboards. It's very, very cool. Uh, and they're made out of a high impact plastic. Uh, each one of these, it says it can hold up to 50 pounds of distributed or evenly distributed weight. So, um, that's plenty heavy enough, heavy duty enough. Let's see, uh, so these are 16 by 16 inch. Let me get you a close up here. So it, it's got your traditional peg boards on here, spaced apart evenly. Uh, they screw in through here, there's five here, another one down here, here, and there's one in the middle here. There we go. Um, and from the back side, you can see they're elevated about a half inch. So you can get the, the, the hooks can get back in there. Um, they were five, I think they were five sixty nine dollars each. Five dollars and sixty nine cents each. And when I did the math on it for the size of, you know, wall I was going to put up here. I was going to put two foot by four foot and I was going to put two sections like that over here. Uh, and I had to buy some one by two boards to do a framing around there and then put the peg boards on it. And when I priced that all out and pricing these, I bought eight of these. It was just a little more. It wasn't a whole lot. Uh, and this is more durable when you think about it. I, I mean, I've had peg board in the past where it warped because of the humidity or whatever. And, um, you know, it starts coming apart. Well, this is high impact, pla high impact plastic. This is not coming apart. The humidity is not going to bother this. Um, so I think it's pretty cool. I'm going to try it out. And the cool thing about it too is they're all interlocking. Uh, I'll show you how it works here in a second. I got four of them set up here on the floor. Uh, you, as you can see here, they, one overlaps the other right there. And the other one overlaps the other one. Also, on the on the bottom here, let's see here. You see the little tab it's got right there? It fits in here. So the top and the bottom lock. It's pretty cool. So we're gonna put this on the wall here, on my wall, on my bench wall, and we'll see how that uh, how that works out. All right. Also, as far as screws to go back in here. Um, the screw holes they put in there, they're kind of limited to the head size. I don't know if I can get a camera close up in there. You can see that. So I'm using, I was going to use these little screws here, but I just don't trust the threads on them. Um, or that head, it's kind of small. So I'm going to use, I got these uh, number six drywall screws. They're about an inch and a quarter long, I think. Um, and I think that's going to work better. All right, the first thing we need to do is where to put them, right? So find a spot where you're going to put it. Now, these are 16 by 16, so when you stack that other one on top of there, it's going to be fairly high. I'm limited because I got these uh, wall plugs right here. If they weren't there, I could have put this a little lower, but that's okay. Um, so what I'm going to do is measure the distance from here, from my tabletop up, and then get a straight edge, measure a line, and then I'm going to set, start putting the tiles up. All right, now we're going to put our first one up. What I'm going to do, I'm going to put it right where I want it. I'm going to put it right in the middle, the screw. OK. 
okay? Because now I can rotate it a little bit. What we're going to do on our first one, of course, get yourself a, a level and put it on there. And get it nice and level. First one on, it's nice and level. So now we're going to start putting our second one on. That should go on there just like that. Yeah, that'll work out good. And it's probably a good idea when you put them on is push them together really good. Out good. Okay, let me finish up the rest of these and I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. All right, there's one more thing I want to add is these are 16 inch square tiles, right? Uh, right at the edge here, they make it to where you can screw these directly into your studs if you have drywall, like in your garage. Um, so that's what's nice about it. Um, so you got two options really. So you can get a piece of a sheet of plywood, maybe 5 8 plywood or something thick like that. Uh, cut it to the size you need and put it on your wall. Screw it to the studs and then put this on. Or screw these directly into your uh, studs in your wall in your garage. And like I said, they have it right here where you, where you have that option to do it. Alright, these are the, uh, the screw holes right there. Another one up there. So you have that option too. All right, guys, I just got done, uh, and I'm really happy with it so far. Um, they seem heavy duty enough. Uh, they'll hold more than the weight they, than a regular traditional pegboard will hold. Um, and I bought one of these, and this will go in there just like your traditional pegboard. I can screw this down also. Um, so yeah, I'm really happy with it. I got these eight for now. Once, I'll, once I fill this up, which will be like today, I'll, I can go out and buy more, and I'll just keep add, adding down. So, yeah, I'm really happy with it. Um, one more test. It works. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, I'll have the information for these interconnecting pegboards uh, down in the description. Um, please let me know if you uh, like this. So please like and subscribe and I would greatly appreciate it. Thank you.